Casa therefore gives Amnesty International a seven-day ultimatum to leave Nigeria. The NGO's failure to leave Nigeria will attract civil disobedience at its... All right. All right. Now you are hearing it. They are giving seven days ultimatum to leave Nigeria. And we all know why all of this is being ha all of this is taking place because they are holding them in a bad place. Amnesty International I think they are beginning to do what they are doing to come lie. This was on their national television that they broadcast it. Offices both in Nigeria and Lagos on a scale that will make the campaign of looting and arson it facilitated appear like child's play. Amnesty International's offices and those of all its affiliated organizations and non supporters in Nigeria will be set upon the same way that its agents destroyed critical assets in the country, its staffers will be treated the same way that innocent policemen and our children lynched by mobs were treated. The countdown for the seven-day ultimatum begins now. The protesters might have made the misleading claim of a massacre at Lekito Gate and the lie that 78 people were killed, but it took Amnesty International's amplification of that lie for the national community and support national organizations to wrongly accuse and condemn Nigeria and its government. It is shocking that this credibility challenged organization has continued to amplify the fake news it earlier published. We have seen Amnesty International's operatives running the security media houses to continue advancing the claim that there was a massacre. Yet, when Amnesty International Nigeria chief representative Osai Oshigo was asked on Arise TV by anchor Charles Aniagolu what the NGO's evidence was. She failed to provide a single shred of evidence. She was asked for evidence that any person had been shot by the Nigerian army at Lake Tolgate, and she spectacularly failed to substantiate the claims she and her organization are still making without proof till today. Charles asked her, and please I quote, do you have any bodies? Silence. Did you see any bodies of any dead victims? Silence. Do you have any names of people that were killed? Even one name? Silence. Have you been contacted by even one family that claimed they lost a loved one? Silence. Ojiko then began saying, oh well, the army has a history of shooting people and then taking away their bodies and hiding them, etc., etc., etc. To which Charles Anyagulu retorted, sorry, madam, but that is not evidence of anything. Can you come back to us when you have real evidence of an atrocity committed by the Nigerian army at Leki? We have that on record. We have waited for several days and Amnesty International has not gone back to Arise TV and Charles Anyagolu with evidence that the Nigerian army killed anyone. It has instead ramped up its fake news and has further undermined security in Nigeria in addition to the wave of arson and looting that its lies against the Nigerian authorities had triggered. That wave of arson threatened the Nigerian economy to no end. All right, all Therefore, right, for Nigeria all to right, rebuild, all right. Now, dear friends, you've had her, you've had her, and the way I am looking at this woman, this woman that is speaking, she must be a Biafra. And some of us will ask why the leader is calling them baboons and monkeys. This is the reason. We all see the way they massacre people in targets. People that we are protesting, we see how they massacre them. Now they are denying it. I I am sure with I am sure that 
Amnesty International, they have enough, enough of evidence. Me and you, we know Nigerian government. If Amnesty International have nothing, have no evidence, anything whatsoever, Nigerian government will not come up with these people that are saying this in the national television. Do you know how much it costs Nigerian government to organize these people that is doing this? Do you know how much it costs them? I will want to bring you the clip of our leader. And afterwards, I'm going to play something that I think some of us, some of us have heard it. The way they are twisting everything around. They are twisting everything around. Around you, you know the the the. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The killing of innocent people. We forget that the killing where it started. It started from the toll gate from Lagos. Lucky toll gate. It started from there. The massacre started from there. And it was on, you know, the world was watching it live. Some of, some of them were, were on Instagram, some of them were on Facebook. I think the video are also in YouTube. It was live all over the world. Now they are denying it. They are asking for proof. And as usual, black people that we are we have forgotten now that the pressure is being mounts everyone have relaxed no one is talking about it anymore everyone has gone to bed but stay with me i want to bring you this first of all then afterwards we will go to the next I will serve your children in truth and in honesty, diligently, without looking backwards. Never until Biafra comes and beyond. As for me, my personal mission is to ensure the destruction of the Zoological Republic. The word nigger will no longer exist. You got your river Niger from the word nigger, which means black. Black river. Is that river black to you? is it black to you people don't know that niger means nigger nigger in latin niger in english niger in french they are nigerians my food baboons and monkeys everywhere black people are useless very very they cannot reason very well niger nigerians means uh, people who occupy an area that a river is flowing through the black river niger means nigger black niger is english word for nigger nigger is latin niger is french it means black 